from Red Pines and thanks for checking out the first installment of Many to Come on my 26 foot 1988 Jamboree Raleigh motorhome with a huge Ford 460 engine. I bought this motorhome for $3,000 about three or four years ago with the intention of restoring both the inside as well as the outside. I knew I had some work ahead of me to transform this bad boy into what I really wanted but like many projects that many of us take on it was much more than expected. One tiny leak turned into several, which turned into ripping out and replacing old insulation, which turned into replacing old roof supports and installing a brand new rooftop exhaust fan. And this is where my restoration journey will begin. After locating about 8 to 10 tiny pinholes in the roof, I used die core self-leveling caulk both below and on top of the roof and then covered the pinholes in a very wide area around the pinholes again both on top and below with the Turnabon tape which is made for RVs and holds up in all kinds of weathers for decades to come. I also applied a bead of die core caulk around the edge of all the Turnabon tape I then replaced most of the roof supports and installed new foam board insulation. As you can see, when the vent cap either broke or got lost, the previous owner, instead of buying a new one for $4, wrapped it in duct tape, preventing fumes from venting out of the black tank. As you can see, after taking it apart, it was a mess. It was time for some mineral spirits, some Dicor caulk, and some Eternabon tape. I decided to clean the vent cover with mineral spirits since it was still in good shape, and it did pretty well. After cleaning the area around the vent pipe, I wasn't sure if the work I was looking at was done by the manufacturer or the previous owner. Either way, I was not impressed, but would do my best to clean it up. After cleaning it all up, I sealed up the opening around the vent with Dicor caulk, then used the Turnabon tape over the entire area to make sure it was watertight. After sealing the entire area around the vent, I added a bit more protection by caulking up the tape seams as well. I placed butyl tape around the lip of the vent, covered it, then tapped some new screw holes, attached it, and one last layer of caulk over the entire thing. All corner and joint trim on this RV will be removed, cleaned, painted, and re -caulked. And all of the rubber trim screw covers will be thrown out and replaced, ensuring a nice waterproof seal on all corners and joints of the RV. These pictures show both water damage to the inside curtains as well as much needed attention to the back bedroom windows. You can easily see how the glazing bead has pulled away from the window over time and created an easy entry for water to get in. These windows need to come out and be completely resealed and put back in. After removing the screws from the inside, the window actually came out pretty easy, leaving a dirty, sticky mess where the old caulk was. Using mineral spirits, I cleaned the area up and it looked much better. Since the outside would be completely primed and painted anyways, I decided to go ahead and prime that area before I replaced the windows. I also placed new Eternabon tape over the window opening to help prevent any water from getting inside the wall. The first step with the windows was to clean all the old caulk, tape, dirt, and grime off. Once again, I mainly used mineral spirits and a cleaner called Goof Off. The old glazing bead pulled out pretty easy since it was so old. Now finding the correct glazing bead for this particular RV took me about a month of internet searching, but I finally located it and at a little over $2 a foot, 
This roll cost me about $200. Now installing the new glazing bead made my thumb sore for about a week. Being brand new, it was a tight fit. Took some pressure to get it in. I tried using a piece of wood and a rubber mallet to tap it in, but found out that the thumb worked best. But it did turn out nice. I installed some new butyl tape on the inside of the window, set it back into place, and screwed it in. To make the exterior caulking look as nice as I could, I trimmed it up with some painter's tape and recaulked the outside of the window. I have to say, standing back and looking at it, I was very pleased with the outcome of this job.